make plenty of noise as they come out of turn number four into the main straight. We found some more fireworks off the front of the ute. 24 starters for night number one of the Mannington Toyota Sprint Car Series here at the Plex. That's it up on turn number one and two up beside the time clock and the uh, super screen. And we will see very quickly who is going to be in the frame as the jump is taken by Chris Coyle, who had the lead. King Shot then takes it. Coyle comes up the behind and stays there. English is back there in third place. They're unscathed so far. There's 24 cars. It's pretty tight out there on the racetrack, but they all got through. King Shot from Coyle. English from Williamson. Kendrick from Milling. Veal is in seventh. Warble is next. Then we go back to Picton Maiolo. One spun here the main straight as the caution lights come on and we will have to see them go at it again and goes halfway between turn three and four and they all go zipping past the cone here the main straight king shot gets out of the lead we've got a spinner in front williamson. of the park and it's williamson who oh. saves it and then they all go round behind three or four have come to a stop. A couple have tumbled over. The 99 car being the most significant there, of course, that being Jamie Maiolo. They've almost lost half the field. Uh, here they go. In, uh, it is the green light saying go. The snarling cars go at it. Veal goes down and tries to gain some ground early. He's back there in about seventh place. They chop and change up front. James Inglis goes back to third place as Chris Coyle gets him. Then Inglis gets him back and King Shot goes through. Two down. Two down and Inglis and Coyle are certainly going for it in second and third place and further back in the field after that we've got Williamson, Kendrick is there along with Milling and Veal third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh pretty close but it's Kingshot who leads at the moment from Inglis and Coyle and then a gaggle of cars after that headed by Callum Williamson 24 to go well, what I can say is Brock Francis and Tim Bujos have become uh, issues right now because they're the two cars that are second last and last, and they're the ones causing problems for the leading cars right now. Jack Williamson started to get his car going. He looked like he was about to get past, but now he's going at similar speed to your race leader, who's Dane Kingshot. Who's on Dane Kingshot. Off to a good start, but Inglis has stayed a little closer. Callum Williamson puts on a bit of pressure on Chris Coyle, but Coyle gets a good slingshot and actually closes up a little bit on James Inglis while Dane King shots full own out of the gates. 10 down, 20 to go. Callum, uh, sorry, Chris Coyle on a charge and just put his nose in front for second. So are they standing Whoa! in tight here and Coyle, he smacks into the fence and goes over. And what happens behind? We have a wheel that's been ridden and survives. Wow, that could have been. Off we go again. And again, Jamie Veal goes down the low side of the track. But he's got Taylor Milling right on his hammer. King Shot gets past. Oh, and turn to that spun Veal. Well, Taylor Milling, who made a move on Jamie Veal, has eventually it's... made him spin. I don't know if it was contact or it was just the proximity. But this race that has end. got Jamie Veal. Facing the wrong direction at turn two. Mitch Wormel, he's having a great race, and Callum Williamson fifth. Well, Kendrick is falling back through the field as we speak. Going to lose another spot here to Kendrick. Scroop's going to go past him shortly as we look out to our race leader now here in the main straight. Already up on lap traffic now, so the 92 car of Brock Francis already passed another spinner here. Oh, here Dane. we go. Claw to the floor. Dane Kingshot, can he get it done this time? As we look back in the field, what's going to take place there? Kendrick is uh, getting. Uh, out of harm's way as they come into the main straight and another one for King Shot 13 2 0. He's getting faster. Oh, the car that's in third of Mitch Wormel. He got bought by one of them. Meanwhile, back of the ranch, 21 Whoa. down. Veal. King Shot and Inglis. Veal has just gone underneath of Milling. Milling tries to fight back, but Veal is now up to fourth place. But he is nearly half a lap behind our leaders. We've got eight laps to go and King Shot leads. But Jamie Veal having an absolute stormer. He's going to finish on the podium here. I'd love Mitch Wormel to hang on. 
on. He's got eight laps to try and do so. But Jamie Veal is once again showing us why he is one of the absolute best in this caper. We've got seven to go. He was and half a second just a short time ago. It's now down to point two of a second. Well, Millings uh, not going away either just quite. He feels slides past the number 97 in Warble and he takes third place. A remarkable fight back as we go back to the race lead now. They're jamming up here in the main straight. 25 laps down. They're on lap 26. English right on the tailpipe now. He's about two car lengths behind as they dodge it. Oh, Brilliant oh. driving by King Shot. Oh. He just went through a needle eye opening and he got himself an advantage by doing that. And that might oh. be the move. He comes round mobile one turn four. He's got 500 metres to go. He won two features last season. He won the Western Annapolis and he won the WA State title. He is about to be your power for loser. Winner for 2023. Put your hands together, folks. Your winner for race one of the season, Dane Kingshot. He wins from James Inglis in a stunning performance from him. And how about Jamie Veal having to come from the back of the pack and finish in third. Mitch Wormel.